Good morning, welcome to Network 360 channel. In this video, we are covering uh, SSL certificates op uh, using OpenSSL software. Uh, we can create, we can, we can use the OpenSSL software in Windows as well as Linux. It's Apache based software. The, in this video, we will create three certificates mainly CA certificate, server certificate, and user certificate for our lab and test environment. One note, certificate created here not intended to use the production. It is recommended to use an internal managed CA or have a publicly trusted third party CA certificate for the production. So uh, we are going to start the, our uh, certificate creation. First part is the CA certificate ca certificate we have to uh, uh, we, we have to create two two files one is first one is we have to create the key file using the uh, rsc algorithm and aes 256 is the password encryption and the, the key size is 4096 you can you can uh, that the 4096 is depends on your application you can create 2048 or 1024 so we will go to the op, the command prompt Uh, I have already installed that, so I am using that open SSL on this path. If you, if, if you want to use directly on, on Windows 10 or Windows 7 machine, you can just Google it, open SSL for Windows, you will get it. Then you have to open in the uh, CMD prompt, command prompt. So first part, we have to create the CA certificate. Okay, CA certificate. This is a command generate RSA AS two T six out four zero nine six key cells. Password. Okay, so the key file is generated lab dot seek see a key file now from this key file we are going to create the uh, uh, ca file CT common name. Okay, here we are for the CA CA dot lab dot local. This is our CN. Okay, so we created. We have to verify PEM file. CA format. CA format is uh, CA file. Uh, SSL certificate format is PEM file. And this too is the command open SSL. Now we can directly import that certificate uh, in the Windows uh, certificates manager or uh, Linux machines. That last step we will, when we are doing the verification, that time we can do. So certif server certificate, we, the, the certificate authority certificate we already created in the PEM format. 
Now next is server certificate. Let's say we, you have the web server or any server, email server or any server. You want to create the certificate for the web server or server. We have to go same procedure. First we have to create the key file. Okay, we didn't put the encryption algorithm, uh, the, that's why it's not asking for the password. It's not required. Then we have to create the CSR. Request, we are requesting key server dot key. Server dot key is the, our key file and requesting the same like CSR, we are creating the CSR file. Uh, server dot key just now we created and we are requesting the certificate it, it will ask the details oh sorry ID. okay This is the CN. So we, we create the CSR or request file. Now third part, we have to sign the request with the CA. We already having the CA. So command is here. X509. We are requesting and is with the CA lab CA dot root dot pem it's our CA certificate and this is a key file uh, and this is the uh, serial out and uh, server dot pem we are going to create the server dot pem file this is a for the server certificate it will ask for the key okay so it's generated we can go and we can refresh so we can see server file it's created and uh, it's uh, ca files now if you want to create from the pem file to crt it's uh, just google it you will get or if you want you can come in and i will i will send the command how to convert the pem to crt so the, the our in our uh, video third part is the user certificate User certificate normally we will create in the PFX format and the same same way we will create we will create the key file with the 4096 and we will create the CSR dot request user dot request after that we will sign the request with the CA then we will get the user dot PEM once we got the PEM file we can we can uh, using that PEM file we can we can export the pfx file using the user key file and the user pen file so let me dive into the configuration so first part i'm going to the key file generation done now we have to do the request CSR or request file. So one dot lab dot local okay it's additional so we already created the request now we have to sign with our CA which we created before. You can see we are requesting 
x509 format ca this is the ca certificate this is a key file same procedure which we did it for the server certificate we created the pem file let me go to the bin folder you can see user.pem is already created now in some scenario we require the pfx format so we have to export or we have to generate pfx from pem file and using the key file the command is here done so the, the pfx format file also is created Okay, so we created all the certificate, your CA certificate, server certificate, and user certificate. In this server, what we are going to do, we will import the CA in Windows Server. We will import the CA and we will import the server certificate and we will verify. In order to do that, we have to go to start run MMC console, then go to file, add and remove snapping certificate, add computer account next local computer okay done so you can once you expand the the certificate store we can see third party root certification authorities here this is the root certificate the ca certificate here we have to import right click all task import we have to go to the bin folder and all files then the ca root pem this is the one okay done just to refresh the folder we can see ca.lab.local which we created just now it's one year version 3 and this is the details we give okay so root certificate now we have to add the server certificate server certificate normally in the personal folder oh, sorry. right now we don't have any server certificate so all task import server.pem okay next import okay, done we can see now the folder is created server.lab.local we can click this is it's a proper certificate that's why uh, you can see that uh, there is no marks and we can see issued server.lab.local because that is a CA, CA or root certificate and CA.lab.local and what is the time frame uh, here the details which we give subject is server.lab.local then here you have to verify okay it's uh, certificate okay or not so we can see that it is uh, trusted by ca.lab.local and this is a server certificate so same way we can use it for the uh, this one the pfx file also so thank you for watching uh, thank you for your time and watching if you don't subscribe uh, if you don't subscribe on my channel please subscribe thank you bye bye